Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is J.S. Matthews. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die. And today is a very special day because it is day seven, which means that tonight is Horde Night. And I'm very excited. This is going to be our no base Horde Night. We're going to have to see how this goes down. I'm definitely a little afraid of how things are going to, you know, happen here. Knowing my luck so far and my decision making. But we'll have to see how it goes. First of all, I want to try to get my last two skill points here. I need to go grab some frames, actually. And I want to try to fill up some of this area so the zombies aren't coming in here in case, you know, I'm going to eventually make a lot of this my base, but I want to kind of make sure it's all blocked off and kind of ready to go, I guess. And I figure it'll also give me a little bit of experience as well, especially this area back in here uh, that I need to fill in still. Although actually this is pretty good and here is just fine. It's the one area I'm a little worried about is actually on this side of the roof right here, this hole. So let's go ahead and just grab a couple more frames here. Now we don't need a ton, but we'll do about 20 of them, why not? And we're also going to build a little uh, little bridge over to this part too. So we'll have a bridge going across this whole thing, and eventually I want to kind of take over this entire area. At least that's my goal. So let's go ahead and take a look at this here. Let's throw these frames down. Kind of make this look... Oh, oh, my bad. I forgot we're going to have to do this on this side too. Oh, that's going to take a while. But you know what? Let's just throw these down and we'll upgrade them. We have to do them eventually anyway, so let's just throw them down and upgrade them. That sounds good to me. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I am having a blast right now. I'm really excited to try out this whole no horde base horde night. And I'm really glad I got this right here. This hammer. It's going to make things nice and quick. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade these real quick. Well, we're out of wood. That's okay. We're just about to another uh, another skill point there, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and just put some of this stuff away, and we'll make our way over to the trader here. Now, my inventory is getting pretty darn club like covered <laughs> or cluttered right now, so we're gonna have to fix that eventually. But I think right now I just want to kind of dump some stuff in here, and let's make our way over to the trader. All right. Thankfully, the trader is so close by, it makes it a lot easier. Oh, oh, I guess we're uh, not open yet, huh? My bad. All right, let's go do something else then. Let's go ahead and hit up this church real quick. That's right over here. We'll clear this church out, and then we'll head over to that uh, to the trader. Maybe we'll get something else to sell from in here. That sounds good. That'd be good for me. I'd like that. And come on, who doesn't like going to church on a Wednesday? Actually, technically, I do usually go to church on Wednesdays. Huh. All right, let's see here. Let's take this guy out. Nice. Come on, jump. There's two more in here. There's one right there. Oh, we took off her whole arm. She's still up, though. And there's our level 20. Nice. We are almost to that last little skill point there. I'm very excited about that. Oh, I guess there's two more in here, huh? And then there's one up there, too, if I remember correctly. I've done a POI like this before. Let's go ahead and just take this guy out. I do need to make some more uh, arrows, though, for sure. Can I get any more? Oh, I picked up three. That sounds good. All right, I'll take three of them. Let's go ahead and grab this cobble. It's always good for helping us level up. Oh, there she is. Come on down here. Or not. I'll just get you from down here, then. Oh. oh, there we go. Trader's open. That's okay. We'll finish this up real quick and then we'll go over there. Oh, nice. Finish her off. That was a good switch right there. Oh, I got to see what I need to make a uh, hunting knife, come to think of it. Let's take a look at that real quick before I forget, because I would like to make that before Horde Night if we can. Hunting knife. I can make it. I need forged iron. I need 20. Shoot. Well, I got everything except for the forged iron. Shoot. Okay, well, I'm hoping the trader has some. If he does, we're going to have a nice uh, hunting knife for the end of this. That'd be pretty cool. Is there anybody down here? I can't remember. Nope. Okay, they're down in the basement. Uh, yeah, there's no one in here. It's a toilet. Yep. All right, let's see. Let's check these bookcases real quick. Ooh, double-barreled shotgun schematic. Nah, you know what? We're just going to sell that. That's okay. Uh, I do want the Structural Brace mod, and I do want the Battery Backup. We'll use both of those. Man, these bookcases have been awesome. 
We're going to sell that so we can make a bit of money here. Let's go ahead and head down into the basement. Let's see what they got down here. Load up our bow. Oh, there's somebody. Whoa! Two somebodies. Whew. It's a good thing I got an upgraded bow now. I would not have gone very well. Let's see what else is down here, I think. Let's say there's two rooms here, isn't there? Yep, I knew there's one. I was like, I know there's one guy in here. Oh, three. All right, we'll hold this corner right here. Hold the line. Nice, good shooting. You like how I'm encouraging myself here? <laughs> nice, okay. Looking really good. Clothing pile. I don't really think I need anything from here. We got some black pants. I already have. I already have some nice blue jeans. We're good. Uh, let's grab this cobble. Good. And this one. After we search. Right, we got some cowboy boots in here. Eh, I like keeping my. Uh, I have some high level boots now. There we go. Let's go ahead and see what's through this door. Oh, it goes deep. Whoa. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Probably should have pulled my gun out there. Whew, I forgot about that one. I knew that was coming, too, and I forgot. Oh, my gosh. It scared me just as much that time as it did the first time it happened to me. Eh, we don't need no jacket. We're good. We got one of those. Look at that. Yeah, I've, I've done that before, too. My gosh. Oh, let's see what's in here. Anybody in Ogal? I do not like this. I feel like these are all fake walls and they're just going to explode to zombies. Oh, yep, see? See? What did I tell you? <laughs> Nobody back behind us, though. I knew there were some fake walls in here. I didn't even get this far. Let's see. Well, oh, there's another one right there. Oh, holy cow, man. There's a lot of zombies in here. I got him. Okay, we're good. Let's see what's ahead. Now, we got to get to that trader. I already have a... Uh, thing finished. Nice. What's in here? Are we back into... Whoa, is this like an underground? Whoa, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep, you know stuff's gonna be coming out of here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there's one. Let's go ahead and grab this, just in case. Oh, well, we're good. We're fine. Whoa! Unless we miss. Which it is hard to hit these guys sometimes. These little... These guys. There we go. Got him. Let's just use our knife here. We're fine. Yeah, these people aren't running. We're good. <laughs> Man, this thing... Oh my gosh. I'm getting some one hit. Holy cow. That was a lot of one hit KOs there. <laughs> I think that was just something falling that I heard. I thought that was another zombie behind me. Um, we're gonna drop you, we're gonna drop you, we're gonna take all that. I have cowboy boots again. Don't really need the cowboy boots. Like I said, I got some pretty decent padded uh, armor boots, so that's pretty good. Don't need anything back there. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna grab you, and we are just gonna scrap you. Oh, what's down there? Anything? No, it's just a hole in the ground. That's kind of fun. Or was that the toilet? That was, that was like the toilet? That's funny. Oh, huh, that's, that's kind of crazy, cr creepy, and kind of cool at the same time. I'm digging it. All right, let's head back through here. Let's see what else is in here, and then we're going to hit that trader. Oh, this is a much bigger place than, the place than I thought it was going to be. Holy cow. All right, please have this be the end. Yep. Is this it? Nice. Oh, that's locked. Okay, we can unlock that, though, I think. I have a lot of... A lot of lock picks, I think. Uh, knuckle dust. Okay, 50. I'll sell them. That sounds good. Some bolts. Can't. All right, so let's break these guys open. Whew. All right. Let's see what we got. Shotgun side. Oh, we got a level five pipe pistol, which I already have, but Pistol Pete, 
Tell your rifle firing part. Yes, I do. And we're gonna sell this guy because I already have a level five pipe pistol. Let's see what's in the working stiffs. Eh, some more tool pieces. And some oil and some frames. Alright, let's see if we can unlock this guy. Oh, close. Let's try it again. Oh man, this is gonna be one of those things where it doesn't let you unlock it, huh? Well, that's it. Oh, well. All right, we'll have to come back and try it again. Let's see. Let's get out of here and go take that, uh... Let's go take this mission back to the trader. Whew. Hey, that was pretty cool. Where are we? Where's my bike? I think it's over this way. Oh, yeah, it's right next to the trader. What am I talking about? Oh, we got to dig up the graves, too. I forgot about that. So you can dig up the graves. They usually have a lot of ammo and a lot of, uh... A lot of ammo and money in them for some reason. Yeah, a lot of people bury their dead with ammo and money. Guess you need some, uh... Bullets in the afterlife, you know? Well, especially if everybody's undead, you might as well, right? All right, let's go ahead and turn this quest in that we already had. Well earned, traveler. I'm going to sell an iron sledgehammer back to him. And I think I want to do a fetch quest. That'll be nice and easy. Thank you. I bet you wouldn't do this for All right, let's go ahead to the inventory here. We're going to sell some stuff. Would you? All right, so we sold everything. Let's see what we want. I do want some 9 mil ammo for sure because I'll be using my pistol there. 2,000. Yikes. All right, I know I'm going to buy some ammo, but let's see what they got in the special area too. Now we got some repair kits there. We could grab those. I'm tempted to get that. be nice to be able to repair everything up. Uh, let's grab maybe two of them. And then we got to get some ammo. And I think that's going to be it for me right now. Got enough ammo here. We're going to be making a bunch of arrows. Any other arrows that we want, though? Some steel arrows. Some iron arrows. There we go. We'll grab all these iron arrows. That's good enough. How much are the steel arrows, actually? Oh, 4,000. Yikes. Yeah, no, nah, I'm good. Stranger. All right, let's go ahead and continue on here. We're going to go drop some stuff off back at the base, and then we'll make our way over to that POI and start getting ready for Horde Night. That's going to be the big thing today. We'll start getting all our stuff together, get our iron arrows in, get all the, you know, coffee and all that stuff we're going to want. And then we're going to have to pick a spot to hold up. We're going to pick a spot, like, uh, maybe between a couple buildings. And, again, we're not going to build anything. Um, I will build myself, like, some escape routes, but that's about it. No turrets, nothing like that. So I'll see you when we're back on the road towards that POI. All right, we are good to go. Got everything organized, and I even remembered to make my nice hunting knife, which is pretty awesome. I'm really excited to try this thing out. Let's go ahead and head down to this POI here and see if we can clear it out. I would like to be able to get back to the trader before Horde Night begins, but let's go ahead and just take a look at this one. We'll go through it pretty quick, go turn it in, and then we're going to start setting up what will be where we're going to fight the Horde. Now, again, I'm not going to be building anything. Instead, what I'm going to do is just kind of set up a bunch of little escape routes, stuff like that. Like, maybe fighting right here would be kind of cool. You know, like right in here, and having them come, and then I'll, I'll jump around between the pillars, stuff like that. That would be kind of fun. Two shot her, nice. Take this guy out. Oh, one. Two. <laughs> I'll take that. Nice. All right, let's keep going here. Again, I just need one more skill point. We'll be good, but this would be pretty cool. We could build our way up to there and kind of like build these up a little. Okay, that's what we're doing. That's what we're going to do. Again, it's not going to be a base. They're going to be able to get right in, and we're just going to have to dodge around. Eh, maybe, we'll do it. maybe we'll try that a different time. I, I kind of want to do the first night where I'm just kind of running around. I think that might be kind of fun. But different things like that is kind of how I want to approach Horde Knight in this uh, in this series, depending on how long we stay alive. <laughs> that is, that's always kind of the caveat there. We'll see how this goes down. Like, on the run, constantly fighting zombies through the streets and, you know, in the dark. Especially once they start sprinting at us. Whoo, that is going to be, uh, that is going to be pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and do this POI here.
Phew. All right, that one went pretty well. That was pretty fast. I took a couple hits there, but nothing major. I'm good to go. Let's go ahead and head on back to the trader here. Get this done, and then we got to pick a place to fight the horde. So we're going to run on back to the trader, and I'll see you when we get there. All right, here we are back at the trader. We're going to go ahead and sell some stuff, turn this in, and then grab whatever we need back from the base and get ready to fight this horde. We're going to start picking out a spot. I think we're actually going to use that first spot I chose. We're going to use those walls and just kind of jump back and forth between them. As long as we can. As long as we can. I'll take a wrench, I guess, and sell it. Sell price 64. Is it 64 per or just 64? I think it's just a total of 64. Let's grab this and just resell it. All right, so we sold everything. I think we're good to go. I might actually grab this forge schematic. Eh, it's only one point. Eh, we'll get that. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll, I'll, I need to get up my intelligence eventually anyways, so I'm not super worried about it. It would be kind of nice. Oh, we're getting hungry already. Okay, I don't want to get these gloves or anything. I think we're good to go. Now. Let's go ahead and go throw some stuff in the base, and we're going to start getting ready for Horde Night. And again, I think the idea is going to be we're going to use those walls to kind of jump back and forth. I do have some frames to put down on some higher areas just in case we need to get up and get out of the action so we don't die. But we're going to see how this goes. I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be just fine. I think at least this one. Once they start running everywhere, I think we're going to be in. We're going to. Yeah, we're, we're going to be in some trouble. That's where stamina management is going to become huge. So we're going to have to bring some coffee with us and a couple other things. See if we can just kind of manage tonight i think we're gonna do just fine though i do want to grab all my iron arrows i think i have them in the bike already so i'm gonna grab some stuff and then i'll see you when we're ready to head out to where we're gonna fight the horde all right got everything kind of set up it's a nice gloomy gloomy afternoon here as we head off i think one of the things i also want to do on the way is try to find some more uh i think i might try to find some more feathers for arrows and stuff but we'll see i just literally went right past the nest there and didn't even stop so i guess i'm not but uh yeah i think we're gonna go over here uh where was that oh here it is right here i think this is gonna be our first horde night right right in here so let's find a nice place to put our bikes we don't have to worry about it let's kind of get it out of the way here and we'll park it right over here right next to this wall we'll throw it right there that's fine now first of all let's grab some stuff out of it i do want this and this for right now I'll probably bring them back in here eventually, but let's go ahead and throw these in here. And I got some blackstrap coffee and I uh, got a bunch of different weapons here, so we should be good. I just got to make sure they're all actually loaded, which they're probably not, especially this shotgun. But this is going to be our area right here. This is where we're going to kind of hold the horde off. So that way, uh, I forgot, we get to do this. The very last point into parkour. Oh, wait, no, we didn't get it. Oh, shoot, I thought we... Oh, I do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whew, that scared me. I thought I only had one point. There we go. We got Parkour Master. Now we can actually jump right over these. So we can kind of kite them around and jump over those. And I think that'd be kind of cool. The other thing I want to do is try to put up a little bit of a kind of like a couple little getaway platforms up here. So I can get up here and kind of get away from them. So we'll, we'll see how that works out. But I think for right now, I think it's a good idea to kind of have that set up there. So we'll put these down, upgrade them. And we're going to put them on every corner here in case I need to get up and just get out of harm's way. See that? And I think that'd be pretty cool. Can I jump up to this one too? Yeah, nice. Okay. So we'll put a third one up on each of these. Just kind of one like, uh, yeah, we'll put them each on this side. So I think right there actually. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> I grabbed that one. So it's one more up. There we go. And we'll just kind of make sure this area is is gives us at least a couple different ways out. And again, we can go in there too, come to think about it. I didn't even think about that. But uh, there we go. And then we're probably going to throw a couple up here too. Why not? So we can, uh, can I jump all the way? Jump here and then jump there. And then jump across. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll throw these in here. Why not? We'll upgrade them real quick. All right, I think this is about as good as it's going to get. I wonder if maybe we should put a line of blocks here and a line of blocks blocking up that one too. Just so we have two ways to get them in and out. I don't want to be building too much, so I think this is good enough. This seems fair. We got enough built up, and you know what? In case we really need it, maybe we can still throw a little, a little staircase up here as well. Why not? Just in case we get stuck out here. That's a little too high. There we go. Just jump up. And do one. Oh, come on. 
right there and right there. Do one higher, just in case we need to kind of get away, you know. But I'm not going to upgrade those. All right, I'm going to put this stuff away now, and we're going to wait it out for the horde to come. Maybe I'll craft a few more arrows. Got to get my iron arrows out of here for sure. Oops. Let's go ahead and trade some stuff out. So, do I have my iron? I got 150 iron arrows. Let's go ahead and throw this stuff back in there. Don't need you. Don't need you. We're going to throw our coffee back here. I also got Recog and Grandpa's Learning Elixir, so we're going to throw those on. And we got some Fort Bites just in case, and also some regular coffee that we're going to be using instead of the water to kind of keep ourselves going. And then uh, we'll just have to see how it goes down. I think everything's decently repaired enough. We'll have to see if I need to jump up and repair something. I'll do it. But until then, let's go ahead and wait it out for the horde to come. Just about horde night here. I got everything set up, got all my weapons reloaded, and uh, yeah, now we're just waiting. Looks like some fog rolled in, so this might be a little bit uh, more up close and personal than I was hoping, but whatever happens, we're just gonna have to handle it. So I'm gonna be nice and quiet for this horde night. I'm not gonna be talking through it, so you guys will actually get to kind of experience it without me blabbering on constantly. So, uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope it's exciting, and hopefully, I'm still talking to you after, and hopefully, we're not dead.
All right. It's uh, 1.39, 140 in the morning. And I think Horde Night is officially over. That went a lot better than I thought it was, although I can say how much more intense it's going to be when we start making all the zombies run, which will be, I think, one week from now. Two, well, one week from now. Yeah, everything will be jogging for the next week, and then everything will be running for the week after that. So, yeah, it's going to get going to get a lot tougher now from here on out. But I still think it's been pretty fun so far. Nice first horde night. That was a little bit easier than I thought, but you know what? Still, uh, it could have gone bad there. But I took a couple of hits I probably shouldn't have, but I think it's just not used to being uh, against the jogging zombies since I've been playing against all the walking zombies for a while. Anyways, uh, that's kind of it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed our first little horde night there, and uh, hopefully there will be more to come, many more to come. Uh, as of right now, we're going to be jumping up the difficulty, one difficulty, uh, or, or sorry, we're going to be uh, bumping up the zombies to jogging constantly and we're, we're going to keep it on warrior difficulty and just uh, as we go along here we'll just continue to bump up the difficulty add some more stuff in just kind of change around maybe we'll make night last a little bit longer stuff like that you can let me know in the comments what you want to see uh, and I'll try to make sure I get it done obviously we're going to push it to the point where things are going to be very very difficult and most likely I'm going to die but eh, hopefully we'll have some fun while doing it anyways hope you guys enjoyed this episode hope you enjoyed our first horde night I know I did it was uh, definitely a blast anyways I'm going to keep these episodes going if you're enjoying them definitely leave a comment maybe even like and subscribe That'd be great. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next episode. If you ever want to support my channel or me, check out my books on Amazon. I always put the links in the description. And I will see you in the next video. I hope you guys have a good one and take care.